So I gotta ask you, growing up, who were some of your favorite players? Uh, I mean, grew up in the Northwest, so uh, big, big fan of the Mariners. Uh, and just over the years, got to watch, you know, Ichiro and Jay Buhner, Brett Boone. I was a little young for Ken Griffey Jr.'s first swing through there in the A-Rod group and them, but uh, I mean, my all-time favorite, King Felix, Felix Hernandez. Loved watching him get to pitch every five days. I, I like that. So I do this thing where I call Mount Rushmore for baseball. Okay. And what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to break it down into four sections for you. Okay. So one is going to be one pitcher, Okay. one infielder, one okay. outfielder, and one catcher. I'm going to put you on the spot. So who's your catcher for your Mount Rushmore? Oh, boy. Mike Zanino. Okay. We're going like to go that. with Z. Go you know that man? Teammates. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right, you know, that's a man... A little bit of a pander pick, but that's okay. Uh, you know, I got to watch him while he was in Seattle. Just said I was a Mariners fan. Uh, all my family, they don't know him like I do. They love him because, you know, he's got a great personality and he's huge in the community. And then, uh, you know, on top of it, really good at his job, which helps me be better at my job. And so I really appreciate that too. Uh, All-time catcher. Are we talking Mount Rushmore of current players or? Oh, of, oh boy. Uh, oh, your personal favorite. Yeah, Same I mean, hey, my personal favorite. The guy, one of the two guys that takes care of me. Him and Frankie do a great job. So I, like uh, okay. I got to watch him as a Mariner and play with him here. So, you know, I'm going to have to go with him for now. Okay. So I'm assuming your pitcher is going to be King Felix. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So who's the infielder? Uh, favorite infielder. Uh, so I'll give you an idea on this. There's been a unanimous vote on this infield. Oh, no. And, then, and this one person is Derek Jeter. That's every time that gets mentioned. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, that seems like an easy pick. Um, let's do someone a little different, though, even though, obviously, Derek Jeter, one of the all-time greats. That's a hard one to go against. Uh, you know, I'm going to go with... see here. Let's think of someone. We got Pujols, Let's say, we got. Ooh, that's a good one too. There's so many. It's a tough choice. Uh, I really like, like, uh, like watching Teixeira play. So, uh, Teixeira. Yeah. I don't know what about him specifically, but you know, I really liked watching him play. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, and outfielder. Outfielder Ichiro. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, once again, big Mariners guy uh, and got to watch him play quite a bit growing up. And so... I think it's just one of those things, you know, he's got a special place in my heart. I thought he played the game the right way, you know, and, and so I, that's who I'm going to have to go with. So the first time you saw yourself on MLB to show the video game, yeah. what did you think? Oh, no, i got to get my rating up. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I think the first time I was in it, they had me on my double-A roster, so I hadn't even debuted yet or anything like that. And, Oh boy, you look up there, and I don't remember. I don't remember what the number was exactly, but it was like an upper 50s, and we got to We had to get that number up as fast as possible. So you mentioned about Mike, and you talk about your success and this year. Yeah. You're doing great things this year. Coming to this season, obviously it was a lockout, but your preparation for yeah. this year. What were some things that you did to get better yourself to come into the season? Uh, you know, I was very fortunate to work out with a great group of guys in Phoenix. That's where me and my wife live during the off season uh, within the DST team. Uh, they're based out of Houston, but their Arizona location is where I was at. You know, they did a great job of helping me get prepared, and, and we had a great group that was able to get some live at bat, that kind of stuff, going to get the competitive juices flowing. Um, and then on top of it, you know, once again, just another guy I like to give a little shout out to in Phoenix is Dr. Sean Drake. Uh, that man, you know, helps keep my body right and that kind of stuff. So. Uh, you know, between everyone I could talk to, unfortunately, none of the guys here with the organization, everyone I could talk to, they helped me, you know, get sharp and, and get ready for coming into spring training. All right, last question. We've got some fun here. So let's say you have a walk-up song. Okay. It's named after you. Okay. If you could pick any artist or multiple artists to do a song, who would it be? Uh, well, you know, I love, I do love pandering to the Northwest, being from there. So uh, I'm going to say Nirvana. Uh, a little grunge, a little something along okay. those lines, uh, you know, and, and like I said, love pandering to back home a little bit. Oh, recipes, Carco Bay, one time. I appreciate you, man. Thank awesome, you so much, thank man. You. Thank you.